Section 4. The Security Questions This section of the form is one of the most important and provides your case officer with an indicator of your honesty and integrity. Here, we are asking if you or any of your family or close associates have had any contact with the police. At the same time, you are getting permission from your family and associates to include their details on the NPPV application form. You should ask them if they have had any adverse contact with the police other than as a victim. Please read the questions in this section carefully and give them some thought before you give your answer. For example, have you ever had any involvement with the police about any incident, even though you were not arrested? Remember, we are looking for honesty and openness as a part of our vetting process. We have access to police records and we do carry out checks on all of our applicants. So we would rather that you tell us about something than leave us to find out about it. Involvement in a police investigation does not automatically mean that you will fail vetting. We also need to know about your family and friends. Have members of your family or close friends had any involvement with the police? We understand that you may not know all the details, but please provide as much information as you can. Their name, what was involved, can you give the approximate dates when it happened? Have they been to court? Did they have to pay a fine? Have they been banned from driving or had a community order? Or have they served time? We are aware that under the Rehabilitation of Offenders Act 1974 and 1979, some convictions no longer have to be disclosed. You can find out whether this affects you by visiting www.gov.uk forward slash government and typing in rehabilitation of offenders. But if you are in doubt, please include the details. The vetting case officer processing your case will know whether any disclosed convictions need to be taken into account or not, and will take this into consideration. We also need to know if you have taken part in any civil disobedience activity, such as protest marches. Please include details and dates of what was involved. Everyone has a right to protest against something they don't believe in, so please be aware that the majority of such involvement will not have a bearing on your application, but we do need to know. The College of Policing has published the Police Code of Ethics, which includes the standards of professional behaviour expected of police officers and other staff who work for the police. While you're not bound by this code of ethics, we do expect people working with the police to conduct themselves in a way which does not contradict the standards of professional behaviour, such as evidence of racism or homophobic behaviour, which will never be tolerated. 